Hi, uh, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks, and on Roku, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. It was the great Mike Tyson who used to say, everyone has a plan until they get hit. The idea was that training camp, whatever you saw on film, whatever you thought you would change for this upcoming fight, all of that would go out the window. Once you got hit, you were fighting for survival, and then you went back to what you knew. It takes a special fighter. Someone who's not hardwired, like Ricky Hatt, a guy who always went back to what he was doing, regardless of who his trainer was. It could be Floyd Mayweather Sr., right? Once the battle started, Ricky Hatton would go back to being Ricky Hatton, right? You're either hardwired like that or you're softwired. I see all of these fighters going to all of these superstar trainers, and I really have to ask myself something the press can't ask publicly. Is this fighter the kind of fighter who can actually learn new things? Is this guy going to listen to his trainer, revamp his style, and literally change his game to stay in the game? Right? I can hire a teacher, but am I going to learn what the teacher is teaching? Now, Marcus Maidana apparently is soft wired. I haven't seen this big a transformation in quite some time, right? After Maidana hooked up with Robert Garcia, and Garcia is a superstar trainer, I will just say, for all the fighters Garcia has trained, this might be his masterpiece, right? These two guys together have created someone who did not exist when Marcus Maidana threw about 1,200 punches in a losing effort against Katelnik years ago. That Marcus Maidana, the same Marcus Maidana who fought Victor Ortiz, did everything wrong. Huge puncher. Huge. But he came in parallel to you. Right? He missed a lot of punches. Maybe he threw 1,200 punches. He'd be lucky in a typical fight to land 30% of his punches. Right? His jab was hit or miss. He was a huge puncher, but he was really a tough guy in the ring. Not refined but more crude, right? He was the guy who just came and hunted you down. The problem, of course, was that he had a lack of defense. You saw that in a Victor Ortiz fight where he gets dropped, right? Sure, he had that fortitude to get off the canvas. He had the fortitude to come back and win that fight. But his balance wasn't there. Right? He was a guy, his accuracy wasn't there. He was a guy really in there just throwing big punches. What separates a lot of the elite fighters from the very good fighters is the ability to actually have a boxing construct, to actually come in in such a way where it's hard for your opponent to hit you. Well, everything's changed. If you haven't seen Marcus Maidana for a few years, you're going to be shocked when you see him in the ring against Jose Cito Lopez. The Marcus Maidana who fought um, Soto Carras, who knocked out Soto Carras, is literally a different fighter. And dare I say it, he actually looks slick to me. He comes in now at a side profile. He shoots a jab and he's accurate with it. He landed 28% of his jabs against Soto Carras. That's a very high percentage for landing a jab. 
he landed 48% of his power punches. In fact, if you combine the two based on the numbers according to CompuBox, he landed 40% of his punches against Soto Carras. He is much more accurate and lower volume than he used to be. In fact, if you go back and if you look at his fight against Eric Morales, you're going to find out that he was throwing a lot of punches, but he wasn't landing a lot of punches. That, quite frankly, has changed, right? He literally now comes in behind a jab. What used to be a nonstop barrage of power shots is now a, here's a surprising power shot, paradigm, right? He's now setting you up so when the power shots land, you're actually surprised by them. And, of course, the power is still there. I'm expecting Marcus Maidana to beat Jose Cito Lopez. I believe Lopez, and I know I'll get ripped for this, but it is what it is. I think Lopez is defensively challenged. If you look at his fight against Saul Alvarez, I'll just put it to you this way. You remember everyone in the press was buzzing when Floyd Mayweather landed 60% of his power shots against Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Well, did you know that Canelo landed 64% of his power shots against Jose Cito Lopez? By the way, Canelo has a decent jab. It's not an Ali jab, but yet he landed 34% of his jabs against Jose Cito Lopez because Lopez doesn't move his head out of the way, right? Canelo ended up landing 52% of his total punches. You know how that fight ended. Fifth round KO. Let's talk about Jose Cito Lopez's fight against Victor Ortiz. If you think Lopez just had an off night and couldn't avoid Canelo's jab because Canelo's jab is supposed to be special, understand that Victor Ortiz landed 25% of his jabs against Jose Cito Lopez, right? Of course, Victor Ortiz also landed 45% of his power punches. What that tells me is that Lopez is really where Marcus Maidana used to be. He's a tough guy in the ring. He's a fighter, not a boxer. Unfortunately for him, this sport is called boxing. I like the favorite in this fight. I like Marcus Maidana. I'm not even going to hedge it, right? I think Marcus Maidana is both the superior boxer and the superior power puncher. Now, for those of you who remember him losing badly, and I do mean badly, to Devin Alexander, people need to realize that Alexander is a very difficult matchup. Number one, he's a southpaw. Number two, he is fast. When I say fast, I'm not just talking about hand speed, as I would be with Zab Judah. But I'm also talking about foot speed. I'm talking about the ability to dole out a combination and then to move before you can adjust and you can react. Right? Devin Alexander is one of the faster boxers out there. Marcus Maidana could not cut off the ring like Timothy Bradley did against Devin Alexander. Yes, he looked ordinary against Devin Alexander, but please understand, Alexander's slick game from a southpaw stance is not Jose Cito Lopez's game. Jose Cito's game is to come in, be relentless, beat you down with aggression, right? He's taking shots to dole out shots. Not a lot of head movement, He's there to be hit, as shown by the numbers from the Ortiz and the Alvarez fight. But let me just say this. If you're there to be hit by Marcus Maidana, good luck with that. I like Maidana to win this fight. I think he's going to open a lot of eyes. I believe that if you don't have the foot speed, against Marcus Maidana, this version of Marcus Maidana, you're in a lot 
of trouble. And I personally don't believe Jose Cito Lopez has the foot speed. I like the favorite Marcus Maidana in this one. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and dwyervip.com for premium picks. Thanks for stopping by.